Hey, what's the Blender users? I am Jonathan, and in today's video, I will be showing you the process behind creating this city in Blender. I used some fun techniques, and in the hopes that you'll learn something new, let's get started. Oh, and by the way, if you enjoy my content, consider subscribing, because I upload a new video every Saturday. For the city, I didn't want to use any particle systems, because this would mean that the same building would be repeated over and over again. So my first thought was to import a city using the Blender OSM add-on. But sadly, the buildings lack a lot of details, and because we only have two materials, it would be really hard to assign a different material to each of these buildings. So I had to find another solution. My next thought was to import a 2D city using the same Blender OSM add-on, and after that looping over this floor plan with the building tools add-on. This would allow us to add floors to a building as well as a roof. You could also easily assign materials based on these face maps. This way we could have different materials for every building. But sadly, the OSM add-on also imports buildings with two or more faces. These cannot be converted into a building using this add-on. So I again had to find another way. But I stuck to the idea of using planes as buildings and then looping over them with the building tools add-on. Luckily, there is a way to get a city floor plan with houses that are only made up of one face. And strangely enough, this medieval city generator was the solution. You can generate 2D cities with this generator and then export them in an SVG format. This then allows us to import this city into Blender. Of course, we'll have to do some cleanup, so let's firstly delete this big face as well as all these lines and curves we don't need. Now, there's one problem, and this is that because this was a 2D generator, the creator added shadows to the buildings. And we somehow have to get rid of them. Luckily, there's a way for us to do this, and this is to expand our selection by material. So, let's select one building, and go to Select, Select, Linked, and then Material. Now, this selects all the houses with the same material and we can then just put these houses into another collection. We can hide it, just so we know which houses we have already selected. You can also right click on this option and choose to add it to quick favorites and now with Q we can quickly select the houses. Now that all of the houses are moved into the hidden collection, we can select everything else and delete it. And you can see that our floor plan is coming along nicely. There is no intersection between buildings and we have a good variety. The next step would be to scale the city up because I want it to be in the real world scale. To make ourselves this a bit easier, let's change the origin of our city. So in the end panel under tools, select origins and move it to the center of the city. Uncheck it and with Alt and G we can move the city to the center of our scene. And now we can just scale it up to a size that makes sense to you. Now there's still one problem and this is that all of these faces are curves. So let's quickly go ahead and convert them to mesh. And now because all of these meshes are triangulated we have to do a limited dissolve just so the building tools add-on can convert these faces into whole buildings. Great! Let's also quickly apply rotation and scale so it all makes sense. Now the script I wrote can be downloaded in the video description and it basically loops over all selected faces and converts them into buildings. This can take a while, depending on how big your city is, so let's only select a few buildings to test it. Let's run the script, and you can see that we get some buildings, just like this. You can of course go ahead and change the maximum floor amount to a smaller number or higher number, depending on how tall you want your buildings to be. But this looks good to me. I have already talked about materials and how I want every building to have a different material. And this script takes care of this. I've created 30 materials in total. 10 for concrete slabs around our buildings, 10 for the roofs and 10 for the walls. If you want all materials, you'll have to go through and select use nodes and import an image texture for for example windows or roofs. But I've already taken care of this. So you can go ahead and download the materials blend file and before you run the script, Append all 30 materials. So click on Append, select the buildings you want to convert and click Run. And now you can see that all of these buildings have materials. Of course you can go ahead, select them and adjust the material setup. In close up, these buildings really don't look that great. But the city generator was made for huge cityscapes. So let's quickly try this. I'm going to go ahead and select all of the remaining buildings and let the script run. 
And now we should have enough buildings so that it wouldn't be noticeable if we duplicated the city. So let's go ahead and do this. And you can quickly see that a cityscape is forming. For the thumbnail render I used a huge amount of individual buildings. I think it was around 3000 and it took a few hours to compute. But I think in the end it was worth it. So again, if you want to try this out, you can download all of the assets in the video description. And that's basically it. I hope this tutorial was helpful and we'll see us in the next video next Saturday.